Hi, today I'm going to teach you the best and easiest way to make conservation credits by manipulating the animal stonk market in Planet Zoo. We're also going to learn how to have fun with price gouging to screw over our peers. We're also going to learn how to breed animals worth a lot of leaf, because getting money in Planet Zoo is pretty easy, but getting leaf is hard. The internet tells me that these leaf are called conservation credit. They come into play when you're in online mode, and they're used to buy super cool exclusive creatures that you can't get with cash. If at the end of the day your buddies have better creatures than you, it can leave you feeling pretty fucking lame. And we don't want to be lame. Although there have been various complaints about price gouging, we can see that it's basically a little hilarious, so we're going to keep doing it. And by the end of the day, we're either going to be fine dining on a private jet with these prestigious tendies, or we'll lose the entire zoo. Fast forward if you just want to learn about animal breeding. Otherwise, I'll teach you how to manipulate the market. Just like game stonks, prices here change. What you can do here is buy creatures when their price is low and sell when it's high. My primary example will be buying out all of the flamingo. You gotta starve the people of what they want. You gotta sell them real high. So now I'm going to present you my proven theory from my buddies down at Wall Street Bets. Given the following factors. Proposition one, credits only go up. And proposition two, flamingos is credits. We must conclude that flamingos are the way. So let's dive into price gouging. So I don't know what it is about flamingos, but they always seem to sell for a lot. Even when they aren't top-notch genetic quality. You can, you can breed them a bit to change their genetics, so I like to take a pool of ones that have really good stats and just have those ones breed with each other and then get rid of the others. Keep in mind as I do this next part that you can't buy a creature for cash and then sell him for conservation credits because that's not a real thing. Alright, so you can see here this little guy. He's, he's at 16 while all of his buddies are sitting around 400 or 500 plus. So we're going to pick him up. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do the same thing here with this buddy who is listed at 20 leaf. Um, okay, so now we're gonna flip this guy to be in the 200 to 300 range, so we know he's gonna get purchased pretty much immediately with that. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Here's this dude sitting at about 8. We're gonna buy low, we're gonna sell high. The market is a bit lower right now, so I'm just gonna list him for 85 considering his genetics are just a bit shit. Easy money, easy money. Okay, so let's talk about getting credits the moral way. So I took the albino approach in my zoo because you can make more leaf this way and the creatures look kind of neat. Um, this is how I tend to oversaturate the market. I have bred every creature that can be albino to be albino. Okay, it's the best ones to breed are the ones that have the quick pregnancies and a lot of babies. So for example, these crocodile gator things are a hard no-go. They suck ass. They take a goddamn eternity to exit the juvenile phase and then become sellable at all because you can't sell babies. They are a disaster, so just don't get them. Then they, when they grow up, they just fight. So here's some creatures that slap. Let's talk turnaround time on the pregnancies and some bang for your buck. Lots of people like the African dogs, but I kind of don't. I will not show them because I do not have them. To me, lions suck a lot less, and they aren't as complex because you just need a dude and a chick and not a whole ass pack. I recommend getting some albino lions and then they just kind of do the rest. Consider getting creatures that have large litters and become knocked up a lot. I'm using albino peafowl in this instance. Um, this one is named Tiger Woods. Albino creatures sell for a lot more. You can also get bonus leaf when you release them into the wild if you make too many, which tends to happen with the peafowl. The peafowl breed like crazy. Alright, that's my video. Here's a dead giraffe.